In one of the previous issues, I told you about the only four-time Olympic champion in wrestling, the Japanese wrestler Koreicho. If you have not yet watched this video, I recommend you to watch it, I will leave the link in the description. Today I will tell you about her no less successful friend, and in the number of world titles won and more successful, also Japanese wrestler Sori Yoshida, titan of women's wrestling, undefeated at major championships from 2002 to 2016 Japanese female freestyle wrestler who won 13 consecutive world titles and 3 Olympic gold medals. Sori Yoshida was born in Tsuo, on the Pacific coast of Japan's main island, Honshu, and is the daughter of Japanese wrestler Aiketsu Yoshida, who won gold in freestyle wrestling in Tokyo in 1964 and later became coach of the Japanese national team, and so it is not surprising that even at a very early age, namely when she was only three years old, her father introduced her to wrestling. Her father died in March 2014, six months before she won her 12th consecutive world title. A triumph she dedicated to him, I wanted to dedicate this victory to him, she said. He has always put wrestling above everything else, and he will continue to support me from heaven. I will be my father's champion. In the 10 years between winning her first world title in Chalkidia, Greece, in November 2002 and winning her third Olympic gold medal in London in 2012, Yoshida lost only two fights, both in World Cup tournaments. The first of those defeats was to Marky van Dusen of the Netherlands in 2008 and the second to Valeria Zhalabova of Russia in 2012. None of her opponents at the time could nearly match her skill, strength and tactical know-how, including Tanya Verbeek of Canada, who lost 6-0 to Yoshida in the final of the 2004 Olympic Games in Athens, the first Olympic Games to feature women's freestyle wrestling. At the 2008 Beijing Olympics, the Japanese retained her title, defeating China Zuli, and won her third gold in London in 2012, going all the way without conceding a single point and defeating Tanya Verbeek again in the final of the Games. Subsequently, with the change in weight classes, Yoshida had to move up to 53 kilograms instead of 55 kilograms. But competing in this category at the 2014 World Championships in Tashkent, Japan also managed to maintain her high status by defeating Sweden's Sofia Matson 0 in the final and winning her 12th consecutive world title. In an emotional tribute to her late father, she set goals for the next two years, I need to keep studying my opponents to get even stronger, she said. And, just days later, she won her fourth consecutive Asian Games title in Incheon, Korea. During 2015, Yoshida was undefeated again, defeating Sofia Matson once more and winning her 13th world title in Las Vegas. Rio could be my last appearance at the Games, Yoshida said in July 2016. I might be able to last until Tokyo 2020, but I need to win in Rio first. Yoshida seemed to be on the right track, winning three bouts with ease and not conceding a single point to reach the final Games. But, in the gold medal bout she faced American Helen Morales, who became an insurmountable obstacle for the Japanese, defeating Yoshida for one and inflicting her first defeat at a major tournament in 14 years. Reacting to her unexpected defeat, the Japanese legend tearfully said, My opponent was stronger than me, that's all. In January 2019, Sori Yoshida announced the end of her competitive career and set new goals for herself in wrestling, but now as a coach.